Are you new to Django and feeling a bit lost about when to create a new app? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the world of Django project structures and figuring out the best way to organize your web application. I totally get it. Transitioning from the mean stack to Django can be confusing, especially when it comes to understanding how to structure your project. Many developers face this dilemma, and it's completely normal to have questions. Let's break down your specific question. You want to know if you should create separate apps for features like registration, login, chatting, and file uploads, or if they should all be part of one app. This is a common concern, so let's explore it together. In Django, apps are designed to be reusable components. However, if your features are only going to be used once in your application, it can be tricky to decide how to structure them. Let's clarify this concept a bit more. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to structure your Django project, and I promise it will make your development process much smoother. To determine how to structure the Django project, the user should first understand that each app should encapsulate a specific functionality. For the features mentioned, it is advisable to create separate apps for registration, login, chat, and file uploads. Next, the user should consider the reusability of apps. Even if the features are not reused across different projects, separating them into distinct apps can enhance maintainability and organization within the project. If the user plans to build two completely separate websites, they should create two separate Django projects. However, if there are shared functionalities, like user registration, they can create a shared app that can be included in both projects. Finally, the user should remember that Django apps are designed to be modular. This means that even if an app is only used once, it can still be beneficial to keep it separate for clarity and future scalability. Fun fact, Django was named after the famous jazz guitarist Django Reinhardt. Just like jazz, structuring your project can be an art form. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests that when structuring your Django project, you can create a single app for features like registration and login, as they are often used together. However, if you have a feature like chat that may be reused across different applications, it's better to create a separate app for it. For file uploads, you can integrate that functionality within the same app or create a separate script to handle it. Here's a pro tip. Always plan your app structure before you start coding. This will save you a lot of headaches later on and help keep your project organized. And there you have it. You now have a better understanding of when to create new apps in Django. Remember, a well-structured project can make all the difference. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.